TISNET 2022 aspirants, here is the third edition of our GK series for TISNET 2022 exam. We thank you for your feedback that you've been sharing on YouTube, on WhatsApp. Uh, today's session is based on sports related GK, mostly current affairs. Around 50% of the test questions have been from static GK. Last year, around 10 to 15 questions were from current affairs. In case you are appearing for the TISNET 2022 exam and you look forward to these resources on GK, please subscribe to our channel Pathfinder for me so that you do not miss out on any of the sessions. If you are looking on looking for content on quantitative aptitude, please subscribe to our channel Mend Your Math. For any queries related to TISNET or CMAT exam, you are welcome to message us on 93439-21347. With this, let us get started with our first question. First question, which Indian bowler is the fastest to reach the milestone of 400 test wickets? The correct answer here is Ravi Chandran Ashwin. So Ashwin is the fastest. So when I say fastest, it means he took the least number of matches that any other Indian has taken to reach this target. To reach this milestone, I am sorry. So how many test matches it took him? It took him only 77 test matches. And the only other international bowler who has taken 400 wickets in less than these many test matches is Muthaya Murli Tharan, who took 400 wickets in his 72nd matches. Now at this juncture, you should also know which are the other Indians who have more than 400 wickets? So one is Harbhajan Singh. He has uh, more than 400 wickets. In fact, he has 417 wickets. Then you have Kapil Dev, who has 434 wickets. And finally, you have Anil Kumle, who has 619 test wickets. So these are the only other Indian bowlers who have more than 400 wickets. Just to give you an idea of how important this milestone is for any bowler of India. Next question. With which sport are Atanu Das and Deepika Kumari associated? So this husband and wife couple is associated with archery. Now who looks after archery in India? Obviously there is an archery association of India that takes care of all the affairs related to archery. Its headquarter is in New Delhi. That is one thing. And who is the current federation? Oh, sorry, current president. The current president is Arjun Munda. He is the current president of the Archery Association of India. And obviously, every archery association of any country has to be affiliated to World Archery Foundation. Next, we have which of the following sports were reintroduced in Olympics in 2021? The correct answer is baseball and softball. So, for your information, baseball was inducted into the Olympic program as a medal event in 1992. So, 1992 baseball was introduced. And it was there till 2008 and after 2008 it was voted out. But being a popular event in Japan, softball has returned for a one-off event or one-off case in the Tokyo Olympics, that is 2021. Similarly, softball was introduced in 1996 Atlanta uh, and it was a part of Olympics till 2008 only. And once again, it has come only for Tokyo round and both baseball and softball competitions will be contested among or has been contested among six countries, uh, Japan, Italy, USA, Mexico, Canada and Australia. Next question. Which city will host the 2032 Olympics? The 2032 Olympics will be hosted in Australia and Brisbane will be the host city. So it will be the third time this game, Olympic Summer Games will be held in Australia. 
after 1956 summer olympics in melbourne at victoria so the bidding process for this started in june 2019 and without any rival bid brisbane was confirmed as the host of 2032 summer olympics at the 138th ioc session on 21st july 2021 in tokyo at japan and the vote was in the form of a referendum to 80 ioc delegates 72 of the 80 delegates voted yes for brisbane next which country was banned from the tokyo olympics so the country that was banned from tokyo olympics is russia and why was russia banned because the top anti doping authority in the world on uh, you know it it banished russia from international competition uh, for a period of 4 years now this is one of the most severe punishments that any country has got so far for doping so now what happens to the athletes from russia so obviously the athletes from russia who have not been found guilty of doping or who have not been implicated in doping now they can compete but under a neutral flag they cannot compete under the flag of russia and which is this world's uh, authority which rules in such cases the authority that rules in such cases is the world anti doping agency wada it was founded in 1999 22 years ago its headquarter is in montreal quebec or canada and currently the president is vitold banka vitold banka next question which football cup in india won their first football title in the year 2021 the correct answer is fc goa next question which women cricketer is the highest run scorer in women's cricket and this is across formats so the correct answer here is mithali raj she is the one who has the highest number of runs across format mithali raj is also the highest run scorer in one day internationals she has 7391 one day international runs to her name she is followed by cm edwards of england and sr taylor of went west indies mithali raj incidentally also has got the major dhyanchand khel ratna award in 2021 this is another piece of information which you should know she also has been a recipient of arjuna award and the padma shri she has also been rated as wisdom leading woman cricketer in the world in 2017 next question which state is the official sponsor of indian men and women's hockey team the correct answer here is the state of odisha so odisha government has decided that they will sponsor indian hockey team for another span of 10 years so odisha government has already been the sponsor for indian hockey since 2018 they signed a 100 crore deal to sponsor the hockey india for 5 years and after 2023 also they have decided to sponsor the indian hockey team for another period of 10 years next question which football player holds the record for most goals in international matches the correct answer is cristiano ronaldo now he has this award for and it's not any award it's the guinness award and earlier on he used to share this space with ali dey when he had 109 goals to his name and once he scored more than 109 goals this record now is held by ronaldo i think currently he has 134 goals i am not very sure of this number but i think so he has 134 goals to his name uh he represents manchester united club as far as club is concerned and he plays for his country that is portuguese portugal there is another award which is given in football every year that is ballon d'or award 
this year this award has gone to messi in 2021 although ronaldo also has won this award in 2017 and 2018 next manu bhakar is related to which sport the correct answer is shooting air gun shooting to be precise now she is the youngest indian to win the issf world cup now issf stands for international shooting sport federation the headquarter of this is in munich and currently the president is vladimir lizin in india the association that controls shooting is national rifle association another piece of information that you should know is manu bhakar belongs to haryana next question break dancing has been included as an official sport in which famous event the correct answer is olympics so break dancing is going to be a medal event in olympics now how did break dancing come to be recognized as a game now this was an idea that was floated by world dance sport federation and after this idea was floated there were debates there were discussions and then break dancing is going to be a medal event in 2024 paris uh, games next question who owns the lucknow ipl team the correct answer is the owner of the rpsg group sanjeev goenka he owns the lucknow ipl franchise now he bought it for a whopping 7090 crore rupees so the name of this franchise will be lucknow super giants and this team will be led by kl rahul another team that is going to be in included in the ipl matches is ahmedabad so the unofficial name that that i am aware of is ahmedabad titans probably this might be the name of this ipl ahmedabad franchise but there is no official information to this effect yet hardik pandya is going to lead this team and this team has been bought by cvc capitals for 5690 crore next who won the fide world chess championship in 2021 the correct answer is magnus carlsen now magnus carlsen belongs to norway he is a norwegian he is also a three times world chess champion and five times world blitz chess champion so fide federation international de chess or international chess federation the headquarter is in lausanne now incidentally magnus carlsen also has the highest elo rating i think of 2865 points elo rating is the rating system by which the chess players is one of the rating systems by which the chess players are uh, rated relatively to each other and the the person who came up with the idea of elo rating is arpar elo harkness is another rating system for chess players next question who what is the official mascot of tokyo 2020 olympic games the correct answer is mirai towa it combines two words mirai which means future and towa which means eternity so the person who designed mirai towa is ryo taniguchi he designed the character whose head is similar to samurai war helmet and it follows the ichimatsu moyo pattern of checkered design next question who is known as the father of indian football the correct answer is nagendra prasad sarvadikari he was born in 1869 he died in 1940 but in 1880s he inspired youngsters to play football and organized the football in clubs in in west bengal he and he is known as the father of indian football because of the way he inspired youngsters to play football nagendra prasad sarvadikari rajiv gandhi khel ratna award has been renamed as major dhyan chand khel ratna award with effect for from 2021 who was the first recipient of the rajiv gandhi khel ratna award the correct answer is vishwanathan anand 
So Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award was instituted in 1991-92 for the first time. Vishwanathan Anand is the first recipient. Earlier on, only one person used to get this award every year. But in the last few years, this tradition has been broken. This year, around 7-8 people have gone, got this award, the Major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratna Award. The prominent names are Neeraj Chopra for winning the gold medal in javelin at Olympics, at the Tokyo Olympics. Then Itali Raj, the popular Indian cricketer. Then Avani Lekha, Sunil Chhetri, Pramod Bhagat, Manpreet Singh. All of them have got the Major Dhanshan Khel Ratha Award. Next, which of the following was the nickname of Major Dhanshan after whom the Khel Ratna Award has been named? The correct answer is the Wizard. Now, Major Dhanshan has been named the Wizard because of of his superb control over the ball on the field. He was, he worked for the British Indian Army and Indian Army from 1922 to 1956. His rank was major and he served 1st Brahmins and Punjab Regiment. And where, what position did he play? He played as a center forward. So he played as a center forward. But the nickname by which he was known is Wizard. Next, who won the Uber Cup final in 2021? The correct answer is Japan. Sorry, the correct answer is China. China defeated Japan 3-1 in the Uber Cup final. Now, Uber Cup was first played in 1957 and it has been named after a British woman called Betty Uber who first thought of having such an event which was all women because Uber Cup is contested by a women's national team of countries which are participating. So China so far has the maximum number of titles that is 15 Uber Cup titles followed by Japan which has 6 Uber Cup titles. Now, as far as badminton is concerned, these are the five famous prestigious badminton tournaments. Thomas Cup, Sudirman Cup, BWF World Championship, World Grand Prix and the Uber Cup. These are five extremely prestigious badminton tournaments which are played. Next, Victor Axelsson, the world's number one ranked badminton player, belongs to which of the following countries? The correct answer is Denmark. So, although he belongs to Denmark, he has been living in United Arab Emirates. Next question. Novak Djokovic had an excellent 2021 when he won Wimbledon, the US Open, the French Open tournaments. Which country does Djokovic belong to? Djokovic belongs to Serbia. With this, we come to an end of today's session. Once again, please follow our channel Pathfinder for me. If you are looking for similar sessions on GK, if you are looking for inputs on quantitative aptitude, please follow our channel Mend Your Maths. Thank you.